Well, I'll tell you, we have in the studio some George, Member of Parliament for Ningo Pram Pram. Uh, he's seated right there. Good morning to you. Um, Good morning, Sam. Roland. Yeah, great. And um, also great having you. It's a but um, just to straight away go into the issues, we also do know that the communication officer of um, the opposition NDC convened a press conference. Uh, we're talking also about uh, Sami Jemfi reiterating a number of issues they have with the number of infrastructural projects that government uh, had reiterated it has undertaken over the three and a half uh, period of the ruling of the MPP or the Kufado led government. And uh, apparently, a number of concerns had been raised by the MP uh, NDC as well. So we'll take a look at it. Let's take one or two sound bites from Sami Jemfi, the communication officer of the NDC, and then we'll be back in the studio to discuss some of these matters. Friends from the media. The claim by Dr. Bawemia that the Kwame Nkrumah interchange cost $260 million is a bare-faced lie. What Dr. Bawemia did was that he added the cost of two separate and distinct projects, Kwame Nkrumah interchange and the Ring Road flyover, and created the impression as though that was the cost of just one project. Let me repeat this for emphasis. What Dr. Bawumia did was that he added the cost of two separate and distinct projects, the Kwame Nkrumah interchange and the Ring Road flyover, and created the impression as though that was the cost of just one project, the Kwame Nkrumah interchange. He then proceeded to engage in a pedestrian comparison of the two, of the, of, of the cost of projects, which has different scope of works and specifications. This mischief, ladies and gentlemen, which was peddled by no less a person than the Vice President of the Republic of Ghana, is shameful and reprehensible to say the least. For the records, the cost of the Kwame Nkrumah interchange project as approved by Parliament and expended by the contractor is 74.8 million euros, equivalent to $90 million at a time. This fact is contained in the parliamentary hazard of 16th August 2012, when the transaction was approved by the fifth parliament of Ghana, with the full participation and approval of the then MPP minority. Let me repeat this point again. For the records, ladies and gentlemen, the cost of the Kwame Nkrumah interchange, as approved by parliament and expended by the contractor, is 74.8 million euros and not $260 million, as was claimed by Dr. Bagumia. 74 million euros is a cost equivalent to $90 million at the time. And this fact is contained in the parliamentary hands out of 16th August 2012, when the transaction was approved by the fifth parliament of Ghana with the full participation and approval of the MPP minority. After two years, when this project was approved, the Kwame Nkrumah interchange was approved after two years, the Mahama government laid before parliament another export credit facility. That, is, that was after two years. For the design and construction of another project, the Ring Road flyover, at a cost of $170 million. So these and a number of projects that they pointed out to were said to have not started or not completed at all, but had been stated as the number of projects that had been initiated and either ongoing or completed by the Kufado led government. Of course, we've had some responses also uh, from the Minister for Information on PM Express uh, with Evans Mentor that even uh, well, again saying that these number of projects, if you take a, a number and a look at them, you deduct them from the overall 17,000 and over project, it still leaves 
uh, a bigger chunk of project that the government ascribes uh, to as to having been done, constructed, or ongoing. Well, uh, St. George, the, the preamble for all this is the fact that um, your side uh, of, the, of the political divide disputes the number of projects and the figures also put out there by government. Is that what it is? Well, Roland, let me start by saying uh, I feel, I feel, Jian and Jian to my people in Ingo Pram Pram. Today, both the Ningo and Pram Pram Paramount is uh, celebrating Homo War. So if you would permit me, let me send warm regards to the people and chiefs. Jian and Jian Banao, Jian Benene Kiabi Wasiya Dekenwange, Kiwa Chavu and Yunedami, Kiwa Na Fita Epea Yelo. Um, coming to the issues of infrastructure and the claims by Dr. Baumia, I think that it is, it is evident that after his results fair on infrastructure, uh, even Google decided that when you type in who is the biggest liar in Ghana, it was Dr. Baumia's name that came up. Okay. Well, it does belittle the matter, is it? It's not belittle the matter. It's, I mean, even for you, when you're coming on set and you need to check information, you go to Google. And so if such a huge platform, Google is actually the biggest search engine in the world. If, and and they, they only generate answers based on the amount of indexing of information that is brought to them. If that's been done and the amount of indexed information on Ghana and lies is attributed to Dr. Baumia, that is something that's important. And then on the back of Google determining that Dr. Baumia is the biggest liar in Ghana, you begin to do a cross check of what he has put out. And you actually find out that he's put out a lot of lies. Google was true, was right. Google spoke the truth. Dr. Baumia is actually, arguably, the biggest liar in Ghana. What do you mean? Because, by that? because yesterday, for example, Mr. Sami Jinfi did an expose. But even before that expose on the Kwame Nkrumah interchange, I had made the, 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 the position here on this platform during, I think, my jo um, uh, joint caucus that it was extremely pedestrian for you to want to compare two interchanges that had different scope of work, that had different engineering, and then just say that the price of one was higher than the other. It's like, it's like comparing an Opel Cadet to a Mercedes Benz S, 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 S500. And saying that because they all have four tires and they all have engines and they all use petrol, the cars must be the cost of the cars must be the same. I mean, it only takes a lazy mind to make such analysis, and that's exactly the kind of analysis you saw Dr. Baumia do. Now, when we decide to go into the nitty gritties of the issues and, and break it down, you realize that Dr. Baumia was either woefully incompetent in doing his research, or was grossly misled, and therefore is incapable of holding the office he holds when he makes the allusion that the Kwame Nkrumah interchange cost $260 million, when the facts of the matter from Parliament show that the Kwame Nkrumah interchange actually cost $90 million. And there was a second project called the Ring Road, uh, the, the Ring Road Flyover, which cost $170 million. He takes two projects, puts them together, makes, them the, makes the cost for two projects the cost of one project. That is dishonesty. That is, 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 is not being a man of integrity. That's, that's being untruthful. You understand me? And for someone who occupies that high office, you don't want to see that. Then you even want to now go into the 17,000 number that has been done. 17,000 what? Polytanks and single unit KVIPs. If, if you wanted to count that as infrastructure, then under John Muhammad's four years will be somewhere around 100,000. Because look, when it comes to chips compounds alone, in Dr. Baumia's slide, they've done somewhere in the region about 300 chips compounds. From the salaries of NDC appointees in the, in the last administration to what government did together, we did 1,600 chips compounds. So ultimately, you see the huge disparity in the figures and the fact that when it comes to infrastructure, look, when it comes to infrastructure, the kufuadu led administration is not fit to clean and polish the shoes of the Mahama administration. Everybody accepts in this country that when it comes to infrastructure, John Dramani Mahama is the infrastructure czar. Now, one thing Dr. Baumia failed to do was to tell Ghanaians that all of Mahama's infrastructure was on the back of 54 billion Ghana cities worth of borrowing. 
Well, the presidential candidate of your party, the former president, has reiterated that. Yeah, but, but you see, if, if Baumia, Dr. Baumia was an honest person and wanted to engage in true intellectual analysis, you don't just talk about borrowing, uh, about infrastructure, when that infrastructure is on the back of borrowing without stating how much has been borrowed. So Muhammad did all he did, which we can see, which we can reference, landmark projects, and then the small, medium, macro, and micro projects, all done on the back of $54 billion, uh, 54 billion Ghana cities. And they have done so, they have done this abysmal work that includes polytanks, the highlights are polytanks, the highlights are polytanks, one, one sita KVIPs, and other people's projects at a cost of 130 billion Ghana cities. Almost three times, 260% more. You ask yourself, what kind, of, what kind of party is this? Look, when you, take, when, you take, when you take the substance of the projects, and again, I've seen the manifesto of the NPP, and I sh I'm shocked because they go ahead and cite some of these projects in their manifesto. Yep. You come to Ningo Pram Pram. Because these projects have been uh, Absolutely supervised and done not. under the it is MPP not true. Letter. And it that is, is why they are there true. in the manifesto. Roland, not it? Roland, in their manifesto and on the tracker, they, they cite B5 Plus as a government achievement. B5 Plus was a company incorporated in Ghana in 2002 and started doing business under President Kufo. How can then the, how can the Kufado government claim that they have set up B5 Plus? Look, B5 Plus is in my constituency. They have set up an $80 million facility in my constituency. Not one, one cent of the $80 million is government money. They have, they, have, and they have built the biggest steel plant there that has three firing chambers. As we speak today, B5 is firing only one chamber. You know why? Because government is unable to provide them the electricity they need to fire all three chambers. The electricity is not for free. They will pay. So how do you then take a company that a private businessman has put his money in? You government, you're going to splash 1D1F on it. The man says, even give me electricity so that I can work and offset the loans I took to set up the infra infrastructure. Bobo, you are but willing you, to do but that. But you do understand. Then you go to, you, Sam then they also mention OmniFet. OmniFet is Sam owned George, by Michael Zomelo. You know Michael Zomelo, no, don't you? You do understand, Sam George, that um, the 1D1F, according to the scope and the objective of the initiative is not only for new industry that will be set up. No, 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 I'm telling you what the scope is now. No. So, 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 have they changed so, so, the shifted so, the goalposts? So, 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 if you want so, to talk so, about the 1D1, so let let's start forward. from where it was. So, so, when you go into the manifesto, and then mm -hmm. you, go, you go into the government tracker, there are companies that have been set up afresh, there are those that are already in operation who have been co-opted or hooked onto the 1D1F Was initiative. Was that what they promised us in 2016, Roland? What, 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 what do you think they promised? Oh, not what white thing they promised. You, you are a journalist of great repeat. You remember, you what covered do, the MPP's 2016 What, what do you think they promised? The MPP's 2016 manifesto the MPP said they were promised going to, they were one going to district set up in one factory. They were going exact, to set up. Exactly. That is what they said, and I've I'm, I'm, I'm opened the MPP's manifesto. Yes. I'm going to, the because, 2016. Because when you go, when you go into the manifesto, under, it was under When trade. you go into the manifesto, there are a number of companies that are already in operation, and then Roland, there are others that are starting Roland, fresh. the question I'm asking you, is that what the MPP promised us? Is uh, that uh, what the MPP promised us? I don't speak us? for the MPP. No, you don't, ah, I'm not asking you to defend the MPP. I'm asking you, what do you as a journalist remember? That you, 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 when you profiled and previewed the 2016 manifesto of the MPP, what was in it? Was every, it that, was every, it that every district in Ghana will, will get access to a new startup? Fantastic. So that is not what they promised us. And so since that is not what they promised us, we cannot then take them shifting the goalpost to then admit that they have shifted a goalpost and we accept it as that. Fantastic. I found it. This is the MPP's promise. One district, one factory. In collaboration with the private sector, the NPP will implement the One District, One Factory initiative. This district industrialization will ensure an even special spread of industries. Now, show me how a company that sets up its own infrastructure, OmniFet, that they mentioned. OmniFet is owned by Mr. Michael Zomelo. Omni, as part of the Omni group of companies. They've been in business in this country from as far back as President Kufo's era. 
How then, how then, then does that factory become government business? The Dawa Industrial Enclave, which is a property of LMI Holdings, 2,000 acres of industrial land, built in 2014 in my constituency in Dawa. Then today, government says Dawa Industrial Enclave is their own. I mean, I mean, how, how are you engaged in such petty thievery of private property and private, private investment? Government should tell us the ones that they have set up. They say they have started some from scratch. Come out and own and say, this is what we've been able to do. And let people say, okay, uh, you haven't uh, done uh, enough. Uh, 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 so then they should state the ones Casa that de Europa, they, you know Casa de Europa? they should state the you ones that they Europa? started. Casa de Europa. They, it sounds like a, like a Mexican soap opera. No. They, they process um, grown potato into other derivatives. That's fine. That's Great. fine. It will provide jobs for Ghanaians. Yeah, so, so started from so, scratch. So, 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 own so and your, claim. So your concern own, is own that claim they have changed the scope. They have lied to Ghanaians. Don't, 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 are they the same? You can wear a suit if you were, if especially if you were a lawyer. And I told you, I'm getting you a suit to match to allow you to practice your trade. You know that to go to court, you must be in a dark colored suit with a with a white shirt or a light colored shirt, per the practice of the profession. And then I bring you a batakari. Can you wear the batakari and go and stand before my lord? Uh, they have lied, they have misled Ghanaians. And we must call them out for that dishonesty. Look, anybody who seeks to hold public office must be a man of proven morals and good integrity. And so if our vice president, who holds the second most important public office, will engage in petty intellectual theory and dishonesty, well, I'm grateful to God that God has given this country the opportunity to choose between such a low moral standard what and the high that? moral standards no, and the high moral standards no, no, of no, Professor no, no, Nana Jane Opokwajima. You are a member of parliament. You Absolutely. Can, you can't use these words on a certain vice president of our. Why can't I when he's lied? When even what Google do you admits, mean by when low even, moral and, and some of the phrases that you use against the vice president? Anybody who's got a high moral standing will not tell lies. And that there are a number of factories that are under the 1D1. The lie, the lie, and, one of the lies, one of the lies is that. 1D1 F initiative. One of the lies is that. 20, uh, uh, the Kwame Nkrumah circle interchange cost 270 million. When parliamentary answer shows that it's 90 million, that's a lie. That they are the two lie, different the composite lie, products. The lie, the lie again, you, another lie. You've clarified another, another lie. I'm, been... I'm not clarifying, I'm exposing his lies. Don't make that, it that, that, for him. That, that also has oh, been oh, corroborated yeah, by many. Another, 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 another lie he told is the fact that he claims that his government built the, 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 the six unit classroom block in Nkrumah when that was built by Rotary International. That's another lie that has been exposed by Rotary International. Again, he claimed that his government built the Dodua, the Dodua Hospital. The Dodua Hospital that was built in Shai Sudoku district by the NDC. Dr. Baumia says it is his own. Jamalelo, he's lying. Let's tell our, let's hold people you accountable. You cannot use these words Why on a certain vice president. Oh, but I'm asking. The fact that he's vice president doesn't mean he should lie and get away with it. What do you mean by he lies? Dodua Hospital was it built by, by the, the Minister by the for Information on PM Express? Was, was, was the Dodua Hospital the built for by the Administration on PM? Can, can you let me just interject? Okay, yeah, no. The Minister for Information on PM Express with Evan Spencer did clarify that yes. even if you have to subtract some of these number of projects that you have identified said uh, to be either incomplete or not started at all, it still doesn't negate overall. The quantum of projects that have been undertaken Roland, by the Kufa. Roland, Roland so I have a million dollars in my account. And then I see that you, are, you give me a job to do. And I see your money there, $200,000. And I go and steal your $200,000. Will you tell me that, oh, I can pay you back your $200,000, and then that doesn't make me a thief? One of no, the... no, 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 wait. Answer my question. Uh, the fact is, that is I have a million dollars... An analogy. The fact I'm, that I have I'm a million... Not... The fact that I have a million dollars and I steal your two hundred thousand dollars does it mean does that mean that I'm not a thief because I can pay your money? Am I or because to I walk that? yes, or because you walk into a shop, you walk into a shop, you have money in your pocket, and you take things off the shelf and put them in your in your supporter and try to run out of the shop without paying for it. This when scenario you are caught, you're creating is when not you the are same. Caught, it is the same. I'll explain to you. When you are caught at the door, then you say, "Oh, I could have paid for it." It is the same as as coming to tell us you've done seventeen million, uh, seventeen thousand projects. 
when you are caught that a number of them are, are fake, you say, oh, take those ones out. The Minister for Information says just a Jigodjigo. number, even if, and that it was it was a mistake It is to not have just. It, it, it is not just a number. When you listen to Dr. Baumia, and he made one of the cardinal pillars of his entire submission be the quantum of projects vis-a-vis -vis the other administration he was comparing. He tried to compare the numbers. So the numbers were a cardinal part of his infrastructural uh, uh, presentation. They were not just a footnote. They were cutting out to the substance of his infrastructure presentation. So, you see, for me, the high office of vice president or president is one that people of integrity and good morals must be in. And that is the point I'm making that for me, I am grateful that I have to make the choice between the lying Dr. Baumia and the honest, God-fearing woman Sam of George, integrity. And I keep saying that as a member of parliament, you don't have to use these words on a certain vice president. Ah, right, indeed, being a member of parliament indeed, means that, indeed, means indeed, that indeed, I shouldn't speak in, the truth. In, indeed, indeed, Sam George, we've had a number of entities, think tanks, mm -hmm. um, accord some commendation to the vice president for the digitiza digitization agenda that he started. Even, even, even that one is a sham. I, sh I shouldn't start it. Even that one is a sham. You mean the one that you, you, you convened we, a press conference on? We, uh, that wait, one, wait, wait, that wait. one, I will come to it in, in due course. Wait, wait. One, <laughs> one of the projects uh, that was stated by Sami Jinfei in that interaction was uh, said to be apparently an astroturf project that supposed to have been happening in the Adenta, in Adenta. constituency. And it looks like he did indeed show a video that was indicating the project hadn't started or taken off at all. But we have some reactions from the Minister for Information and that interaction he had with Ivan Spencer on PM Express. I'm one of the member of parliament uh, from the area make the point that yes, that was an error that should have, shouldn't have been included. So you admit that? But check this. The NDC was right. On that on, ghost project. No, 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 not on ghost project. Check the but 17, that was a ghost project. Yeah, but one ghost project out of, or one project out of 17,334 does not make the entire presentation full of ghost project. But here's my point. But you, you get the I point. Hear, oh, yes, I, I mean, do. you put in there. I think you admit I that. Well, that I've was, repeated that two, three times. Yeah. I'm saying if it's 17,334 initiated projects, 8,746 of them completed, 8,558 ongoing. And we have reason to say, what is it, 36? Is it 40? Mm -hmm. Is it 300 that maybe are questionable? That still leaves a huge chunk if you net it out. My question is, I mean, if we like to be accurate. Yes. How did we miss it? How did the government well, miss that? Well, MMDC is forward the data sets in. It was forwarded in. It turns out that it was inaccurate. Mm -hmm. I'm saying that even if you went beyond that one, verifications were done. And they still missed it. I'm sure they missed it. Even if you took out that one, or give or take the 26 that our colleagues in the NDC say that they had a challenge with, uh, some of which I've seen tonight, even online, people go back to those places and say that, but that can't be true. We see these projects and put some of the videos online. I'm saying even if you discount 334, that is 17,000 infrastructure projects still out there. The challenge has been to our colleagues on the other side to produce a database of how many projects they have done so that you can do the comparisons. Straight question. Database. And on this show, or on this network, last week, my colleague Felix Quachiofo. Oh, you mean on News File? On, just over the weekend? Yes, he did it on News File and then on Minority Caucus. Came and gave you just a snapshot, even from our Green Book. We exceed 17,000 projects. And those are solid landmark projects. Oh. Look, even in the Ekiapim North municipality. When you say landmark project, what do you mean? Before you go to Ekiapim North. Okay, the landmark projects are comparing a one-seater KVIP or a polytank to a district hospital. We built landmark infrastructure, and then we also took care of micro, micro, micro infrastructure. So micro infrastructure, where they have put a, 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 a poly tank and accounting it as a project, we have provided water for five districts, including Chebi. That's so, George. So, so when it comes to Sam when George. it comes to water delivery, George. they are counting Sam, poly tanks. Sam George. We are counting. George. We are counting Sam water George. projects. I remember. Yes. And and this literature is available. Mm -hmm. That even for the Ministry of Education mm -hmm. on the website at the time mm -hmm. that was hosted, mm -hmm. there are a number of projects that have been undertaken across various educational institutions and also tagged as achievement by the Ministry of Education. And, and they also had the which equivalent... Time? At which time? Under NDC? Yeah, and under NDC. NDC. Okay. And they also had attached a, a Green Book as well. They, yes, the Ministry they, of they, Education had its own Green Book. Absolutely. Relaxing. And as part of some of those projects, there were KVIPs in there for schools and all that. That, that was an achievement, is that not it? That, that's why why, I said... Why, no, 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 why, no, no, why, no. Why, no, Sam George, okay. please, please. So ask your why, question. Yes, okay. So why is it that when the MPP states in its delivery tracker, and I have the tracker here, and I'm sure that we'll put it on the screen for you, 
the, even the projects are being increased to 18,075. More goods uh, projects are being added. Well, that's your view. Uh, and, and, and KVIPs and other ancillary facilities are named as achievement. You tend to discount it or underestimate it. Because the KVIPs in the Ministry of Education's projects or Green Book under the NDC were part of larger projects being school blocks being built. So we didn't just build KVIPs, we built school blocks. Along with those KVIPs came ICT resource centers, came KVIP or places of convenience. In the case of the NPP, what you are talking about is simply them building a one unit KVIP, one sitter KVIP, and counting it as a, as, as a project. In fact, some of those projects are, are under wooden, wooden bamboo structures. You are, temporary structures have been cited. I'm sure, I'm sure the, the Water Karemigo Bridge, that was built by the MP for Ablekuma West, Honorable Eslausu, the bridge that was carried away by water, the supposed floating bridge that's supposed to go up and down. It's all counted as part of, of, of their 18,000 or 17,000 projects. Look, if you go to the Ablekuma West, at Ekapim North municipality, the DC there who's been sacked says that the projects that have been attributed to government are not government's achievements, they are his achievements. So even the president's own former appointee is questioning the validity of projects that have been put there. He but says Sanjo, that who appoints the MMDC? Ah, go, go and ask the MMDC. I didn't appoint the MMDC. No, the MMDC, you're a of parliament. The you're MMDC this, says you're that this those attribution. projects. And I'm are, asking you. He says that it is on the basis of his lobbying for other sources and his IGF. Very well. And I'm asking who appoints the MMDC? Ah, the president. Great. So the MMDCs are acting in the stead of. They are acting on behalf of the Ghanaian people. Okay, who appoints the MMDC? The president. The president, yes. So they but acting, they, they act, they act and, and serve the Ghanaian people. You are choosing which sections of my question to answer. And I'm asking you ah, if. I'm if, answering your no, question. No, well, no. You, you are setting the question. You want to determine the answer I should give no, you? No. No. And some judge. And, like and some judge. It's stated. You are being like Dr. Baumia. No. It's stated in the Constitution clearly. That. The president cannot be everywhere. As a result of that, he has appointees. I have agreed with you on that yeah, point. Yeah, great. So, so what the appointees, exactly is the issue? whatever they undertake in office, is on behalf of the president. Don't and blame me. I am only telling you what the president's own appointee is saying. The president's appointee is challenging Dr. Baumia. I have given you a specific place, a Kiapim North municipality. He says that they should stop claiming those things are, not, are, are, are the achievement of government. They are his achievement as, in, during his time as, as DC or MC. So that, that is not me. This is the, I, I'm not, I, I, I didn't appoint him. I'm not a member of the MPP. I'm only telling you what a member of the MPP say. So it tells you that, look, there goes projects. And you ask yourself, if this government was so competent, can the Flagstaff House get the Adenta? Call what draw, draw, three CD 50 pesos. Can the Flagstaff House get the Adenta? They could have put one of those several thousands of presidential staffers who are only spending their time on Facebook. They could have given them seven CDs to take Trotro in and out, to go and confirm whether in Adenta there was an actual theft before they put it there. That's how incompetent the this government The Minister for is. Information says granted, and that possibly it was a mistake. People resign for misleading people or the, the people in other jurisdictions. Oh, you mean overputting in project that was not supposed see, to be in a You see, well, and when you do this, then you, you reduce the bar for public office holders. I'm not a public office holder. No, I'm asking you I'm questions. I'm saying you are reducing you the are bar. A public you office holder. And I'm asking... Your job is to hold public officers to account very well, and good very well, standards. Very well, so if a public very officer well. lies... And you say, oh, yeah, no, cool. Then tomorrow somebody too will lie. Am... And a lie, a lie can lead to the loss of life. You have raised, or your side of the political divide. So when the divide, president, the vice Sam president George, lies, let's call him out. Your side of the political divide has raised the question. And we've had a reaction from the minister for information. Yes. And you say you don't like that response. Ah, Roland, if your four-year-old son tells you a lie, won't you spank him? No, well, if your four-year-old son, Beke, we can be you, okay, Malipo, over Chalenok of you, so that tomorrow he won't lie. And Onupa Tomo, vice president, he bought airtime, looked Ghanaians in the face, and lied to us. I mean, what are we talking about? We must hold office, and this is the moral standards I spoke about. If you're a public office holder, and you can come and lie through your teeth, and keep a straight face, a liar is a thief. A thief is a killer. Because when you lie that there's a hospital somewhere and there is no hospital, 
and then someone someone has an emergency and they rush the person and they get there and like in the instance of the uh, uh, the Seshi housing project where they claim that the project is ongoing when camera people went there it is bare land there's not even one block of cement there so you're bare say, land you're saying it it's is the same way it is the same way if you're they saying lie it's to you. if, absolutely because Roland if it was a lie that a hospital was somewhere if they lie that there's a hospital somewhere and you go there and it is bare land Oh, 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 Mokoni, Eli Mole, who is in, in, in distress, and you take the person there and there's nothing. Have you done not killed the person? A liar is a thief. A thief is a killer. One, one of the, um, the discussions that have dominated the platforms over the last 24, even not the last two days, is the subject of uh, Ejapa royalties. Now, a special oh. purpose vehicle that's supposed to manage <laughs> our royalties, because we have a whole structure for which we have uh, a whole law that has been passed to make sure we undertake this. Um, just over the weekend, your presidential candidate, our former president of our republic, had raised issues that if he is elected on December 7, 2020, he's not going to respect that agreement, but also the whole structure as it is. What do you say to that? When you have an entity that has been created to steal. What do you mean by that? I'll, I'll, I'll tell you. You wait. Relax. An entity that has been created to steal our royalties. What the little part that is left for the people of Ghana. You have an entity that has been set up, comes to parliament, and they use their parliamentary majority, 160 of them, or 169 of them as they are, use their numbers alone to pass it into law, without consensus, without taking into consideration the future of your kids and my kids, and you think that we should sit down and allow such broad daylight thievery? Are you aware that the MIIF, the MIF, the company that has been set up, that has now given its shareholding to a Japan royalties? And don't forget, a Japan royalties was called Asasi royalties until the morning that they were going to pass it. And the Asasi Empire there, you know who, who owns the Asasi Empire? That entity, MIF, after they handed over, after they have taken $1 billion worth of our gold and mineral resources, three days later, they put a full page, a half page advertorial in the Daily Graphic that the MIF is now set looking for consultants to help them set up, uh, put in place a strategic policy plan. So the entity doesn't have a strategic policy plan. An entity that doesn't have a plan. Multimedia, you have a medium term, a long term plan. In fact, you even have short term plans. You know what programs you are. That's how come, based on your short term plans, the whole of last year, we chased you people around for minority caucus. You didn't mind us because it wasn't in your plan. Your, your plan was that in an election year, a few months to the election, you roll out a platform so you have a plan. You're a business. And you, you don't manage one billion. Multimedia is not worth one billion dollars. And multimedia is one man's money. Because it owns own. Jay gonna be, I know. Now, now, this one, gonna be Washika. One billion US dollars. If you ask my senior girl brother, Sheikh ICK, to come and do the conversion for you, he will tell you the money is big, oh. Oh, pee, 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 pee. In Ghana City. This is the money we have taken and given to an entity that is now looking for a consultant to set up a strategic plan for the entity. And you tell me, Jejulo and other natives who are stealing our money, these are the same people who broke hell, hell broke loose. Why? They said the president's brother, who went through the right processes to mine bauxite, his own, he wasn't taking all the money, the, re the revenue for government, though. He was going to use his money to mine bauxite using extinct cubic. Akejulo Jile. How dare him take Ghana's bauxite? to go and mine and, and sell and bring the money home. And this inference you are saying is but because? To, to have seen cubic. That one they said it was TV. Yet this one, Asasi royalties. They are taking what other people what will is mine. Asasi? We have a Japan royalties. It's oh. been changed. Look, Roland, if it, if, it, if it quacks like a duck, walks like a duck, has its kids in tow behind it like a duck, and they tell you it is not a duck, that it is a geese, or it is a chicken. If you believe it, it's a budenje. 
ni efe wu 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 ni akebo ake o me na ele ejamwani e you are believing the thing the name was only changed to ejapa on the morning of the thing and look when you go and check the ejapa royalties that has been set up you go and check the paperwork in the tax haven of new jersey jame new jersey me ni ameta na dushka jame a gbele your company here it's a tax haven that's tax, what, tax haven mini mini ni that's that's why it's a tax haven absolutely ka dushka ni osumo ni mo kwa na ke ba ma bi e come and put it there that is what tax havens are. You see, we have a wide perspective of people. If you, if you really, and can you imagine that the agreement, eh? Roland, listen to me. Stop reading. Listen to me. Look at me. The agreement says, because what I'm about to say is very important. The agreement says this company will raise up to $1 billion from our tax, uh, uh, our, our royalties, our, our, our mineral royalties. But this company is not subject to the laws of Ghana. Does it make sense? That a company that is going to take me and you, our mineral royalties, forever, in perpetuity. There is no sunset clause in the, in the agreement that has been signed. Is that why you decided not to participate in this? This company is not subject to the laws of Ghana. No, I mean, we are here. 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 Somebody is jailed by, by the laws of Ghana and the courts of Ghana for stealing banche. And, and a ponche to go and do fufu and light soup. Yet these people are taking one billion of our money. This is our money. Was any consultation done to Oti Kokosunana? Who the Asante Hini? His eminence. What's, it, what's, Nana it, Otunfo, what's he got to do with this? Ah, is the gold not in his paramount? Well, we have gold in even in the eastern region elsewhere. So. Did, they, did, they, did, they, did, they, did they go and discuss with the regional? Well, you are a member of parliament, I should be asking you that. We raised all these issues. These are the issues we raised. Do, 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 do. I don't know how they say it in, in every. Fiafito. Fiafito. Oh. Fiafito. This is, this is stealing. This is, this is stealing. Broad daylight stealing, blatant stealing. There is not, and there, look, any, gov any president after this government that has the slightest sign of patriotism in them, that thinks about the future of this country, that thinks about the kids and children who are coming, the next generation, who cancel this deal and prosecute and jail. I don't understand. Those behind it. Uh, we have a lawful company, special purpose vehicle, registered, of course, in a tax haven, etc. Oh. But at the end of the day, it's a special purpose vehicle, just within the right of operating within our republic. And that is why this has gone through the, the, well, the parliament of Ghana. Of course, you may not have participated you know, you know, in you know, those You know, the biggest, the biggest thieves are not the ones who carry gun, though. They are the ones who wear white, white every day, quote big Bible scripture, and speak softly. And tell you that oh, <laughs> our forebears did one, 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 one. Those are the biggest thieves. You know how much it costs such a thief to add two zeros to a number with his fine pen and his white white. Go and try and steal two additional zeros from a bank and see where you end up. You 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 raise the issue of chiefs, not yes. only chiefs but prominent uh, chiefs, so yes. to speak. Um, and you, as a minority, have the inkling or the information that they were not consulted on these? There was no evidence of, of, of that when, it, when the documents came to Parliament. No evidence of consultation. Ah, this thing was rushed through Parliament. Look, this, this whole thing, the reason Parliament was supposed to rise, our rising was extended by a week for this thing. For this thing. For this theory. Don't you think that if you... Uh, have some of these grave concerns, then you should have participated in this fully. We participated and stated the truth and spoke the truth on the record. The hands are very tight. No, but the final but after, process. After we finished the final process, the truth. are always critical for no, any member no, of parliament. No, no, and I've no, covered uh, parliament no, over the years. Roland, it's always important. No, no, Roland, that it is also very important. Indeed, it if, is important that if, you do if, not sit there and be counted amongst those who had low morals and approved okay, such so, thievery. So you're saying that is why you walked out? Absolutely. Okay. We stayed and made our case. And when they, after making our case, when the officer presiding chose to do the bidding of the paymaster, we simply said, we will not, be, history and posterity will not record 
that we, the members of the minority, members of parliament with good moral repute and high standing and patriotism, will not be part of this rape. This rape of the resources of Ghana. In key, you have two Ghana Muna. I don't understand. What if you say rape, what do you mean? Ah, when they are taking, they are taking your, your future, your future from you. The gold resources that the government will use to build good hospitals and good infrastructure for our kids. Somebody is taking it and going to put it in a tax haven in New Jersey or in Jersey. And he's telling us that the Ghana money oh, that he is taking, the Ghana money that he is taking, he is not subject well, Samuel, to the laws of Ghana. I, if, 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 I read oh, their part of it. if I read their company literature very well, uh, this uh, company will be listed on, on the stock exchange in London. And it also means that ordinary Ghanaians can participate. But you of course, not somebody at Fanchineko, but uh, somebody who has the ability to be able There are people whose livelihoods are affected by the mining. How many of them will go and be able to trade on the London Stock Exchange? Ah, Bo, Roland, Bo, even with your fine tie and suit, you, can you go and do any trading? Can you, do, can you go and buy shares on the London Exchange? I can even barely afford a ticket. Ah! Anyway, but... We have to take a break. Um, and Sam George, thank you for passing through the studio this morning. Ah, uh, in time, uh, Sam George is a member Afi, of Parliament. Uh, uh, he's a member of Parliament for Ningo Pram Pram. And um, he's also a member of um, the Communication Committee of Parliament. I had Public one, account. I don't want to. Because I audit the, the, the taxes. I wanted us to look at uh, the enormous commendations that had been stored on the vice president for the uh, digital or digitization agenda no that he's so far he's embarked we'll upon. We'll come for that one special. Okay. In fact, that one, we'll come and ask you for airtime. We'll buy some and you add some for us. Mm -hmm. And then we'll, we'll talk about it. Well, that'll be for now. And so I'm just, thank you for passing through the studio. We have to thank take you. a break. We'll yeah, invite him for quickly. <laughs> thank you. Well, when we come back, we'll have more for you.